They say that people who have lost their sense of joy are like withered flowers. I, of course, must continue to blossom for as long as possible. So it falls to you to entertain me with a thrilling conversation. <laughs> I like it a lot. The view here is amazing wherever you look, and the weather is quite pleasant. One would be hard-pressed to find a better location for a vacation. I had no idea that you'd purchased such an enormous plot of land. And it's amazing what you've done with the place. You must have put a lot of time and thought into it. Oh, I remember now. Some kind of mystic art from Liyue, was it? However did they do it? Huh. I'd really love to take this teapot apart and learn more about it. Although, I'm not too confident that I'd be able to put it back together correctly afterwards. <laughs> On second thought, forget I said anything. This place is truly fascinating. It seems to be brimming with infinite possibilities. The only downside is how quiet and secluded it is. Uh, don't you ever get lonely living here by yourself? There must be a way you could liven things up a little here. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yes! How about hosting a ball here? I'm sure Fontaine's social elite would jump at the chance to fraternize with you. <laughs> the oh! Uh, <laughs> I, I see. Uh, then, in that case... Oh. Let's organize a smaller scale private dance. You don't need to invite throngs of people or put up fancy decorations. We can simply let the world be our stage and dance whenever and wherever the mood takes us. <laughs> well, come on, don't just stand there. Take some initiative. <laughs> Twould be my pleasure. Um, you do know how to dance, don't you? <laughs> All right, just take my hand. Now, relax your arms a little and uh, stand with your feet uh, shoulder width apart. Once we start, just follow my lead and you'll be fine. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm the brightest star in all of Fontaine. <laughs> You're in good hands. <laughs>